So, transition element, this is going to be our last topic. So, just to remind ourselves, in our periodic table, we have the S block, the P block, the D block, and the F block. We are going to be looking at these guys, the transition, transition elements, which we've kind of ignored so far. The key thing to remember, if an element is in the D block, doesn't necessarily make it a transition element. So just because it appears here, <coughs> that does not mean it's a transition element. And so, what makes an element a transition element? The key thing, it has to form an iron. So to be in the gang, it has to, to be a transition element. Is it an A in the bottom yeah. block? Sorry? Is what is that? An that's an F. Oh, it's an F. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> To be a twisted servant, um, it must form an iron with an incomplete D subshell. So to be in the gang, it's got to have the ability to do that. So, therefore, if we have a little look, the first guy here is scandium, and the last guy there is zinc. Scandium only forms, well let's do the electronic configuration of scandium. Scandium is going to be 1s2, 2s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. 3p6, 4s2, 3d1. Remember, we form the four, fill the 4s before the 3d. Scandium only forms scandium 3 plus. When I'm forming ions of a d block element, I remove the electrons from the 4s orbital first. It doesn't matter in this case, but I'm going to remove, to form scandium 3 plus, I've got to remove the 4s2 and the 3d1. So scandium 3 plus 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. Does that iron have an incomplete D subshell? No. no way, Jose. He cannot be a transition element. Zinc. Is one S two, two S two, two P six, three S two, three P six, four S two, three D ten. So that is the electronic configuration of an atom of zinc. Zinc only forms zinc two plus ions. How do you know which ions they form? Oh, we'll, we'll go through the ions okay. a bit. You just the ions. So I'll, I'll just take them. Um, so zinc just forms zinc 2 plus. <coughs> Where are the electrons going to come? Four yeah, for real. There you go. Therefore, for zinc 2 plus, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 3d10. Does he have an incomplete D subshell? No. No, it's full up. He's got his all his D subshell. D can hold 10 electrons. He's got 10 in there. It's not incomplete. It's completed. So, he's, yeah, so he is not part of the gang. Would it be a transition element if one of its ions did have something? Yeah, so let's say zinc form ZN3 plus. Just quickly. Yeah, can I just do four? Oh, if ZN3 plus would be 3D9 then he would be part of the gang, but because he doesn't, he's only got to be able to form one iron, that's it. So D, well, I've got five orbitals in my 3D, 3D subshell, 
Yeah. So um, zinc has got the more full of electrons, as has zinc two plus. If I did form zinc three plus, I'd remove an electron. So he could now, zinc is now going to be 3D9, in which case it's an incomplete. Yeah, it's still incomplete. Yeah, if he's got anything for if it's anything from three D one to three D nine, <coughs> it's incomplete. Yeah. Yeah. So. Thank you. Yeah. That's really incomplete. Really I kept that. saying it. You might just want to like make a note when you do YouTube I, video. Like I, 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 I've just I've just done that now. Oh, okay. Yeah. I meant to. Uh, yeah. <laughs>